just a quick video to explain the differences between an M62 and an M65 supercharger used on a later M271 engine. This one started on the M111 original engine which was in the R170, W202 and W210. This one has the bypass valve that comes off this port which goes to the air box and the bypass valve sits around this area here. As you can see the rotors are absolutely huge and it works quite well and this one is quite a sought after unit because of the electromagnetic clutch. However it is still a useless heat pump load of old rubbish and that's why we use turbochargers on these engines. So that explains that one. Let me just jump in there one second. The, the M62 supercharger is a heat pump, um, but Ben makes it sound like, like we uh, despise them. We don't. We just find them inefficient for what we use. So it's perfectly fine to run one, but when you're trying to get over 250 horsepower, it actually is almost cheaper to just go to a turbo. And more effective as well um, and you don't get a parasitic drain um, I still run the M62 on my daily car um, it works fine for me um, but that is a daily car and I don't want to race around with it Not to mention we also use them on both of our IS200 projects so they're good for something <laughs> period it's quite good on the Miata but no good on a, on a Merc when you want more than a bar this one is the M65 where you can see they integrated the bypass valve off the output into the input in one unit this is a six pin basically what could be described as a Bosch throttle body it's got inbuilt um, location sensing via six pins on it so quite easy to work with with most aftermarket management systems quite compact unit as you can see not as compact as the old one but does a fairly good job of staying small the rotors inside are half the size of the old one or at least three quarters bypass valve stick goes there that's your air intake this half fits over the intake fits on the bypass valve so that it recycles the air and then that's your intake and then this bit will go to the intercooler and then to the throttle body on the main engine but this was fitted to the M271 engine 1.8 and provided plenty of boost to that particular variant of the Mercedes engine. The small pulley obviously dictates how fast you can spin it and really I wouldn't go any smaller than that. So that was a quick video on the differences between the Eaton M62 on our M111 engines and the M65 on the M271 engines. If we had one we would have included the M45 but we thought it would just make one on the M60 series um, and make a bit more sense in comparing those two as we know the M45 is pretty much an M65 anyway. Um, the M65 just has a different housing essentially. Um, probably a few other things but I'm not going to get into that too much I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's been useful um, and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next one thanks guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not